Hey, 2021 seniors, Mr. Gardner. Um, wanted to tell you a few things about how we're doing. Um, first of all, I want to let you know how much I love my job. I love my job so much that uh, when things are going well, I just like to share things out. When things aren't going so well, I like to kind of get busy and try to figure things out. And one of the things that I'm kind of left with this year, because um, you're all staying home and, and, and doing your schooling, you know, in other ways, is I'm kind of left to uh, juggling numbers and, and doing the things that I do on the side anyway. But this has kind of became, um, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, um, pretending I'm working with students. I'll just put it that way. Hey, yesterday I did have one of the senior class in here and we we're able to kind of problem solve the situation she's got going. Uh, we masked up, we walked through the building, um, kind of talked about her situation and we were able to work some things out, but I got to work with a high school student. So that was awesome. So this is my reason for reaching out to you today. And it's, um, it's that letter that starts with an A, it's called attendance. Um, attendance is very magical. And I know attendance right now is probably more challenging than it's ever been before. But I'm gonna tell you this, the class of 2021, not only have you guys been able to maintain about an 80% attendance rate um, through a worldwide pandemic, through um, all the things going on in the country and, and maybe things going on in your neighborhood or maybe in your own homes or maybe just with yourself. Um, there's a lot of challenges. We get that. Um, but I want to let you know how you've been doing because attendance is huge. I'm the administrator in charge of attendance right now. Two years ago, I was in charge of something else. We all have these little projects we're in charge of. I am the attendance guy and of course, worldwide pandemic hits. So I've got to find things that kind of can get me excited. Um, so the first week of school, what you're looking at here, the very first week of school, if you look at column B, um, look at you guys, you're almost 82% attending classes and we still hadn't quite figured out how to get into classes and how teachers can make classes accessible. And in the following uh, week of school, the second week of school, you saw, this is just senior class, okay? I separated you from all the younger kids. Freshmen are kind of kicking butt right now. They're doing really well, but um, of the other three classes, you guys kind of are holding the trophy right now. Um, you're at 83% week two, and then you can kind of see how we're on a little bit of a roller coaster ride um, with having, you know, 81, 83, 81, back to 83. And you'll kind of see as we move through the, the quarter, uh, we get to week five, which was the week of grading. That's when the grades came out for midterm one. Um, we took a little bit of slump after that. That's also the time of year when people start getting the sniffles and, and things like that. So that's, that's not atypical. That kind of happens in regular years. Um, what you guys normally would be doing, like if this was your junior year from last year, I'll double check this, but I would probably say your class is going to be about 85 to 89% in school, but I get it. You know, we're doing everything distantly now. So, so maybe that's a great number. Maybe 78.15 is really good. Um, and then the following week, we bumped up a little bit to almost 81. That's week seven. Um, this is my line up here. That's my 90% line. I'm hoping we can crack that one week. Uh, and then you can say the, the roller coaster ride, it continued. But here's what's really cool. Here's what I want to show you. Never in the 16 weeks, 17 weeks we've been charting this, have we ever had a three week trend up? And you are in that three week trend up. Right now, three weeks ago, this is the week before winter break. I kind of, you know, if I had to bet money on it, I would have said attendance would have dropped a little bit, and it did, uh, just below 77%, and that's kind of going to the holidays type thing, um, which is kind of happens when it's normal. And then the week we came back, we were at 77.94, and then last week, 78.26. So we're starting to inch back up a little bit. So what that means is we got a few more seniors probably going into one more class, maybe two more classes but basically doing a better job. Now, next week is finals week. So I think, um, you know, if you've got grades you're trying to preserve or you've got grades you're trying to, to aspire to, you know, those passing grades, we should see that number go up. And then the following week is the new quarter. So what I'm hoping for um, is that we could continue with that 80% or better. And, and if you ever really want to kind of look at your own schedule, if you want to kind of chart that yourself saying, okay, I've got three classes each week plus Troy time. So that's three times five, that's 15. And then you got four days of Troy time. Um, so you got 19 opportunities, but start setting a personal goal for yourself. 
Count each one of those 19 opportunities. If you have zero hour, okay, that means you got 24 opportunities, but set a goal. You know, maybe next week, maybe you're hitting 20 of them. Following week, make it 21. You know, if you get the sniffles and, and you got to be in bed the following week, maybe it drops a little bit, but be honest with yourself. Of course, what I'd like to see 100% all the time, but I know this is real life and that's not what's going to happen. Um, so anyway, like I said, great things happen when you're here. Great things happen when you're in your Google Meets. And again, I know a lot of you guys, you're working jobs, you're trying to get you know the schooling from your teachers through videos, things like that. Keep doing that. Keep doing a great job. I know you're juggling a lot of things. I know you're a fantastic class. Doesn't mean I can't wish for 100% or even 90. I'm going to keep doing that. And I'll keep letting you know how you're doing. We will have a senior class uh, meeting. Um, I want to say it's in March. So that'll be coming up and I'll still try to do these weekly things. So anyway, um, continue doing a great job and, uh, and always reach out to your teachers for any type of help. They're understanding. They'll bend over backwards for you. You just got to communicate to them what's going on. All right, guys, have a great day.